prepare to be frightened out of your mind when we come back. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And tonight, on this creepy, eerily lit night, we're going to play the coolest game I have ever played in my life. A game from my youth called Green Ghost. It is going to be a hoot. I've been looking forward to playing this since I got this. This is a game from my childhood filled with amazing iconographic uh, things like the green ghost here and the haunted tree and the haunted mansion and the haunted ship. And there's, there's bat feathers and there's bones and snakes and rats and cats and all sorts of great stuff. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to take a look at the game nice and up close, and I'm going to be playing it tonight with my lovely wife, Reggie, and my son, Stephen. It's going to be a lot of fun, and you get to see how it's played. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're waiting a little bit for it to be just a smidgen more dark outside before we start playing. And so, before my uh, wife and son come out to play the game with us, um, I'm going to go over the rules and the objective of the game and show you the entire layout here. So, this is Green Ghost. And Green Ghost has a son named Kelly. This is Kelly. Now... Sadly, for Green Ghost, Kelly has 11 friends, and they all look identical, and nobody can tell any of the little ghosts apart except for Green Ghost. He's the only one who can tell them apart. So right now, all 12 of the little ghosts are out playing in this land. Some are over at the Haunted Tree playing in this crypt. Some are over here in the Haunted Mansion, playing down here in this crypt. And others are over here, playing in the Haunted Ships crypt, which is right here. Our job as these pets, here's the cat. You have a cat, a rat, a bat, and a vulture. Don't ask me, I, I just don't understand how they got from cat, rat, bat to vulture. But they did. So anyhow, we're his pet. Kelly want, uh, Green Ghost wants Kelly to come home. And so he's sending us, his pets, out to go and get the ghosts and bring them home. Well, because we can't tell Kelly apart from any of the others, we're just going to get all 12 of them and bring them all over to Green Ghost. And then Green Ghost will tell us which one is Kelly and thus who is the winner because whoever brought Kelly home will win. And we'll do that by putting them around Green Ghost, we'll spin him, and whoever Green Ghost points to, that is Kelly, and that's how we know who won. So, the idea is you'll spin Green Ghost and you move the number of spaces in any direction you want. You can't go over the same spot twice, and you wanna to get to one of these little open squares. If you get to one of these open squares, you fall through it, you can teleport and come up out of one of the ovals like you see right here. See this little oval? And when you come up out of that oval, that means you have access to this crypt. So if you have the right key in your possession for this crypt, you can open it and reach down into the scariness and pull out a ghost. Once you're done with your turn and you've gotten a ghost, you must trade your key with another player. So that is the idea. Then when you're done, you jump back through the hole and you can come up through any other square hole you want. Your turn is now over. If while you're moving, if you're the vulture and you land on the cat, you have the choice of trading keys with the cat. He cannot refuse 
but you do not have to trade keys if you land on one of these spots. The only time you have to trade keys is if you've gone into a, a crypt and taken out a ghost. Then you must trade keys. So the idea is to run around the world collecting as many ghosts as you can. Obviously, green ghost at the end is going to point to one ghost. So the more ghosts you have at the end of the game, the better chance you have of winning. But even if you just have one ghost, you still have a chance. You're not out of it. So that's the idea. You take your pet icon here and you race around the board trying to get to the different crypts and gather together as many ghosts as you can. So that's the concept of the game. We're going to start playing here in just a little bit. And it should be a lot of fun, and I hope I win, and I hope we don't scare anybody too much. So, first, Stephen picks a character and puts him in a spot. He's going to be the vulture, and you can put him on any vulture he wants. Okay, now you get to pick a character. You got a rat, a bat, and a cat. Here's a bat, the rat, and the cat's over here. I'll take the cat. Okay, so you can take the cat and put it on any cat spot you want. There was a ghost? No. It's just ghosty. That's a vulture. That's him. Yeah. Oh. So you're going to go there. And I, because I love Batman, I'm going to take the bat. And I'm going to take the bat. I'm going to put him you get out of there. here in front of me. And that means the rat is out of play. So, Stephen, now you get to reach under and take any key. Just and don't keep it secret. So just reach under, grab a key, and fix your... Okay. Now, Reg, you can reach under here and grab a key. And then I'll grab this key, and then we'll take this last key, and we'll put it over here by the rat. Okay, so keep your key a secret. And now, Stephen, you get to spin and move. There is a dud key. That won't open anything, so make sure you know which one yours. This is triangle, square, and circle. So there's a dud key in here that won't open shit. We're in trouble, though. I think her bone must have got stuck over there. She keeps on trying to get... Okay, so this is my lovely wife, Reggie, that's helping Fiona, who is our dog, who's trying to find her bone. And this is my oldest son, Stephen, who's playing with us. And... Uh, Fiona, I'm going to get it. Um... Of course, you've seen the dogs before, so yeah. um, so we got her bone. Yeah. I got four. I went to bat. I'm going to trade keys with you, you, Dad. You're going to trade keys with me. Okay, so just trade keys. There you go. What was that noise? Her dropping Little. her bone. Oh, okay. I just got her. All right. So Stephen moved and went to a bat spot and traded keys with me. Okay. So now it's your turn. Okay. I spin it? Yes. You got a five. So you can move your cat five spaces any direction that you want. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of your turn. A one. Great. That's, that's fantastic. All right. I guess I'll just go there. There you go. So this table really sucks for this game. It's not big enough, so we can't don't have a place to put the What ghost. if I'm on the line and this looks... Then if you can't line. tell, then spin it again. So we have to again. hold the ghost to spin him, which is a pain. Six. A six. Remember, you can go any direction you want, but you cannot use the same spot twice. Ever? In one turn. You can't... Just go back and forth, in other words. Do the holes count as a space? No. Three, four, five, six. That. I, they came from the bat. One, two, three. Uh, you know what? They do count as a three, space. Four, five, six, okay. And Because you have to land exactly on this to get, go through the hole. So, sorry. Little rule thing. I haven't played this in like 40 years. 45 years, something like that? Two? Two. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for you. Two. 
Oh. Come on. <laughs> it's, just, it's hard playing a game in the dark like this. One. Okay, so now you get to go through there and teleport to any oval you want. So you can come to this one, this one, or this one. And you come up, and if you have the matching key, you can then go into what the crypt. What oval? There's an oval there's right an here. There's oval. an oval here. So you want that oval, so you're going to come up, and you can just set to the side here. And then you can use your key there and open the crypt and reach in and get yourself a ghost. This is going to work? Yeah, just kind of hook it and lift the lid off. It doesn't really fit through there really well. There you go. And now reach down and to the scariness and get yourself a ghost. Oh, it's the bat feathers. <laughs> bat feathers. Show them your ghost. There's her ghost. But we don't know if it's Kelly or not. Like, we have no idea. Almost like a thimble. It's almost like a thimble. Now, you have to jump back through the hole and you can come up out of any square you want. Out of any square? Yes, you can come up out of any square and go to a spot on either side of it. Now, the last thing on your turn is you must trade keys with either the rat, Steven, or me. I will trade with the rat. That's over here. That's the rat. So you get this key here, which I won't look at. Call me the rat. Here. And I'll put this key back under with the rat. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. And the first ghost has been collected. Two. God! Oh, wait, no, that gets me. And what do I do with the ghost? Onto my own spot. That doesn't do it. You can just hold on to him until the end. I can't win for losing here. I'm getting nowhere. Getting nowhere fast. Oh. Uh, one. Oh, you get to go to a crypt now, and I'm the only one still sucking butts. I'm coming up over here. Okay. Yeah. Now you get to open a crypt. And reach in. And what's down in there? I think it's the snakes. Is that the snakes? This is tough for him. He has giant hands, so I don't know how he's getting down into the crypt there. These aren't that big of holes. They're made for little kids. And I'm trading with the rat as well. No, you got to put your guy oh. into into the spot. Okay, right. so he jumped out and you came out there. Now you're going to trade with the rat. Yep. So here's his key. And give me that key and I'll put that with the rat. Okay. Nobody wants to trade with me. What the hell? Okay, so it's now Mom's turn. Sorry. And, of course, I have no ghosts. One? Yeah. I don't know where I am. You're over here. You can go in a hole again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I can't see you. I'm the stuck on The right here. You were stuck on the stuck tree. On the tree. <laughs> I'll take him. Okay. okay. He's going to teleport to you and up through any hole you want. This one's oval is over oh. here. Jesus. I can't see you. <laughs> it doesn't glow as good as it did 45 years ago. So you have to forgive us. I tried. I I mean, I really, I shined a really bright light on it. So you get to open the, the crypt. Get a ghost. Ooh. Sound effects. And what do you have down in there besides ghosts? Oh, I get bombs. She's got bombs. I never would have thought to use the sound effects. All right, I'm, I'm gonna trade the key. Yeah, so you gotta trade with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why we just hid that because you knew what key I had. You don't know what key I had. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I don't think you know. <laughs> Okay, I need a three or a six. No, even that's not going to do me any good. Now I need a one <laughs> or a four. No, a one or a one. That's your own space for the four. I need, I need a one <laughs> is the only thing that will 
do anything for me. Oh, I was so close. I got a stupid two. And look, oh, that wouldn't have been a hole anyhow. And once again, I get no ghost. <laughs> I just need one ghost. Just one, so I have a chance. Oh look, a one. I wanted to go to a crypt. <laughs> oh, here. But let's try the key. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work. Here we go. <laughs> I hate you so yeah. bad. <laughs> you can have that back. You suck so much. Oh yeah. man. Pretty fast, I, <laughs> I don't know why everybody's picking on me. Well, you, you picked on me first. Because I had to. You were next, and you have a lot of ghosts. I would I, a lot. See, one of the things you want to do is you want to try and keep track of what I? ghosts are in here? what crypts. Where I have no I? idea. Because you just traded, right? Yeah. Well, that's I was here. Right there. Yeah, so you go that however many spots. One, two. All right, she got nothing. But now I'm screwed. I, I can't get a ghost again. All right, let's spin a four. Where am I? <gasps> He's getting me ghosts. Now, is the question is, is there any ghosts left in that crypt? So I fall through here. I will come up through the haunted house. And... Now I get to finally open a crypt. It's been a long time coming, and there's probably not any ghosts left in it. What if there's no ghosts in there? I you don't get a ghost. trade this with Steven. Cough it up. I got a ghost! I got a ghost! Look! I got a ghost! I'm gonna wear them on my finger. How many ghosts do you have? Four. How many do you have? Four. So there's still three ghosts in play. I got one. I would recommend a bigger table so you can have the spinner sitting flat on the table. We will actually move the board away when we do the final spin so that we can get a good fair spin on the table. So we'll move the board away. We'll, we'll cut the camera, we'll move the board away and do the final spin. You see this, right? You see them conniving against me, right? I said the rat, not the bat. But you yeah. trade back with me. She didn't want to trade with the rat. She you know, she would have she wanted to not hurt you. She's ganging up on me. I know what she's doing. I don't know how. I am the one that got hurt here. Oh, where what do I she keeps forgetting what key she okay, has. I, know. Uh, I don't think you even need to check the I key. I know it's not there. <laughs> but I'm going to trade. Just so you can trade keys. With Steven. Here you go. And I need to go down the hole and shimmy shimmy. See, that's the easiest way to do it. Is just kind of poke them in and then poke them out. Come up here next to the mic. Shimmy shimmy? You're going to shimmy shimmy? Yeah. Shimmy shimmy. Okay. I'm just going to break the lock here soon. Oh, 
Oh no, that doesn't do me any good. I thought you were the rat. <clears throat> Shoot. You know, I like this spot best. I'm not gonna trade, but I like that spot best. Where am I? You got bat and cat. You're the cat, right? Oh, that's a shame. Cough it up. <laughs> I didn't have the money. disappointment. Uh, I thought you had the stupid key. You two have been trading no. back and forth so many times. I did not. Five. I just traded for a dub key. It didn't help her any, but it didn't help me any either. Now, I didn't have any other option really, but still. A five, and that's uh, or a one. A one or a five is what I need. I need a one or a five. Five! Yahoo! So we'll go over this hole. I refuse to cheer for you. And then we'll come up over here. Why? I've got one stinking ghost. Well, let's and we'll unlock the crypt if I can get the stupid key in here. Because you're stealing our key from us. Okay, I'm just going to lift that off because that's the way I roll. And this is my first chance to touch the bat feathers. Bat feathers. All right, look at that. Oh, I dropped it. As I'm coming up with a handful of feathers. Look at all these bat feathers. Put things in your mouth in the COVID times. Feathers everywhere. Flying over here. Put them in the vault. All right, close that up. And then we're going to go back through my portal. And I'm going to come up right through this one. Land right there. And then, now I've got two ghosts. And I'm going to trade my key with Reggie. You're welcome. Not the player I would have made, but yeah, I know you wouldn't have made it if because you're the, the next player. I, if I had won the ghost, I would have given it to the rat. Just saying. I never thought of that. Three. That would have been a clever move. Three. I'm going down the <laughs> the hole, oh. <laughs> and she loses the key. And short lived. Well, actually, the next person to get a ghost, that's that we get to the end here. So we'll be wrapping up as soon as somebody manages to get into that clip again. Five. three is what I'm going to need. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five. Yeah, one or three. One or three. Please. Three! So yeah, I get to go minutes. here and get this last... I this extra guy is he's, Leroy. He's not. It's only going to be one of the ones who goes on <laughs> and his name's Kelly, by the way. Just think of the color. Kelly Green, because oh. it's Green Ghost. Okay, so I got three ghosts finally. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to pause, we're going to move this out and set up for the, to see who is the winner of the game. All right, are we ready for the grand finale? Here's how the, yes. the, to determine who wins happens. How many ghosts do you have? Four. Five. You have five? You get to put yours down first. You go through, you one, one. And then you go two, two, three, one. three, oh, until you're out of ghosts. And remember your numbers. You're both number ones, and you're both number twos, and you're the first number three. Okay. Steven, you're next in order. One, 
You're the second three. Okay, and then I get number five. The bat, number five. And six. And six. All right. Reg? Mm-hmm. Put your hands on here and help hold it down. Steven, you're the youngest. You get to do the spin. It's got to be a nice, good, hard spin. If it's a line, it gets you done. Six! I am the winner. I have Kelly. Liberalism. What the hell? I have Kelly. I won. That's After the all of that, it I is. won. <laughs> That's it. That's it's all just there a is. Spin? Yeah, it's just whoever he lands on. And yes. It, that's crap. Woohoo! I'm the winner. I had five. Oh, that was Green Ghost. She kind I'm of true she won, won the regular round there. I thought he was gonna light up, but no, then we were this is, a, uh, this is a 45 year old game and he's not lighting up. What kind of crap is that? <laughs> Alright, there you have it. Green Ghost. One of the coolest board games literally ever made. I mean, with our, without argument. The, the, the artwork, the, the concept, everything about it. This is the kind of game that sticks with you for your entire life. You see a game like this as a kid? How can you not remember this? It glows in the dark, for the love of goodness sake. Now, now admittedly, it... It's old, and the, the glow in the dark is a little weak these days. But, you know, hey, it still does it, and it's still cool, and it's still an amazing, fun game, something you can play with your kids today and have a lot of fun with. And it's just an amazing game. I love it, and I hope you love it, and I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up. Click subscribe. Click the bell to be notified anytime I release a new video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I can only stand so much terror for one night. I hope wherever you are, you're having an amazing night filled with fun and family and everything cool. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. Until next time, be good.